We've all had those days when our minds seem to be our worst enemies. Maybe you woke up feeling like you couldn't face the day, replaying every mistake you've ever made. Or you're in the middle of a meeting and suddenly convinced that everyone is secretly judging you. Perhaps you found yourself spiraling into worst case scenarios when things don't go exactly as planned. Okay, but what if we told you that you can actually turn these thoughts into a powerful tool for personal growth? instead of suppressing them. The idea that negative thinking can have its virtues might sound surprising, even counterintuitive, but according to experts, there are several benefits to embracing your inner critic. Curious how? Let's dive deeper. Understanding negative thinking. First, let's get to know our negative thoughts a bit better. In this video, we define negative thinking as the ability to spot potential pitfalls and hidden traps in people, ideas, places, and things in order to respond to them in a realistic and self-protective manner. Psychologists describe these as automatic negative thoughts, ants, those persistent pesky thoughts that pop up without us even realizing it. They might sound something like, I'm not good enough, I'll never succeed, or everyone is better at this than me. These thoughts can feel like they're dragging us down, but they're actually trying to protect us from harm or failure. Here are some ways you can use this to your advantage. Master your thoughts. The first step is understanding that having negative thoughts is completely normal. We all have moments where we doubt ourselves and many of us have that little voice in our heads that seems to point out everything that could go wrong. What's important is that you're mindful of your thoughts. This means paying attention to thoughts that pop up into your head without letting them control you, but instead simply observing and understanding them. What do you feel? Where is this feeling coming from? And what brought it about? Mindfulness helps you become more intentional with your thinking. Instead of letting negative thoughts drag you down, you can acknowledge them and choose how to respond. For example, if you find yourself thinking, oh, I'll never be able to do this. Take a moment to challenge that thought. Ask yourself, is that really true? What can I do to prove this thought wrong? And while it's crucial not to let negative thoughts define how we see ourselves, we mustn't do the same for our positive thoughts either, as both could lead to a distorted and unhealthy sense of self, like complete lack of confidence versus unrealistic overconfidence. Again, the key is to approach our thoughts mindfully and maintain a balanced view. This means separating our identity from our thoughts and recognizing that our worth isn't tied to fleeting emotions or self-criticism. By doing so, we can cultivate a healthier, more grounded sense of self. Take calculated risks. Believe it or not, negative thinking can actually improve your decision-making skills. When you think about what could go wrong, you're better prepared to handle potential obstacles. This is especially useful when you are considering taking a risk. For instance, imagine you're thinking about starting a new project. Negative thoughts might tell you all the reasons it might fail. Instead of being discouraged, Use this information to plan ahead. Identify potential challenges and think about how you can overcome them. This way, when you do take the leap, you're more prepared and less likely to be caught off guard. Take proactive action. Negative thinking can also motivate you to take proactive steps to prevent problems before they happen. Think of it as having a built-in safety net. By considering what might go wrong, you can plan for it and take action to avoid or minimize the impact. For example, if you're worried about a big presentation, your negative thoughts might highlight all the ways it could go wrong. Instead of letting this paralyze you, use it as motivation to prepare thoroughly. Practice your presentation, anticipate questions, and have a backup plan. This way, you're ready for anything that comes your way. Gain self-confidence. When you spend time reflecting on your thoughts and actions, you get to know yourself better. This self-awareness is a key component for self-confidence. By understanding your negative thoughts and where they come from, you can start to challenge and reframe them. Over time, this can help you build a more positive and realistic self-image. You'll become more confident in your ability to handle whatever life throws at you because you've taken the time to understand and address your fears. For example, if you often think, I'm not good enough, take a moment to explore why you feel that way. Challenge this thought by listing your accomplishments and strengths. Gradually, you'll feel more confident in your ability to handle whatever life throws at you because you've taken the time to understand and address your fears. Handle negative comments better. 
We all encounter negative comments from others at some point, whether it's a critique at work or a snide remark from a friend. These comments can sting. But when we're used to examining and challenging our own negative thoughts, we become less sensitive to external negativity. This practice builds resilience and allows us to assess comments more objectively. Instead of letting criticism hurt our feelings, we can view it as an opportunity to learn and grow or simply dismiss it if it's not constructive. Embracing our own negative thinking makes us stronger and more self-assured in the face of negativity from others. Handling negative people better. Just like handling negative comments, dealing with negative people can be challenging. Negative thinkers often have a knack for turning any situation into a worst case scenario, but if you've already learned to manage your own negative thoughts, you're in a better position to deal with these types of people. According to self-help author Meg Selig, embracing your negative thinking makes you more resilient. We learn to filter out negativity, protect our energy, and maintain a positive mindset, leading to healthier interactions and stronger boundaries. For example, imagine a colleague criticizes your idea in a meeting. Instead of feeling hurt or defensive, your experience with self-reflection helps you calmly assess the feedback. You consider if there's any truth to it and if improvements can be made. If the comment is unwarranted, you will let it go, understanding that it reflects more on them than you. This mindset not only protects your self-esteem, but also fosters personal growth and resilience. Marcus Aurelius, a famous Stoic philosopher, once said, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. In other words, those negative thoughts and feelings that seem to block our path can actually help us find a new way forward if we let them. By understanding and harnessing the potential of your negative thoughts, you can transform them from mental roadblocks into stepping stones towards a more resilient and positive life. So what will you do today to turn your negative thoughts into opportunities for growth and strength? <laughs>